Ladies and gentlemen, this is Project M Singles. We have a Mr. Face and a Mr. Aiden commenting for you today. Uh, I am Ishton Shepard. He is T Grass. We're getting right into it. Hello. So we got Aiden, who recently switched main to official ZSS, no more dual maining. Right. And we it have classic Zelda for Face. Yeah. Um. It seems like every region has its own like like one ZSS. You've got Oro in the Midwest. You've got I don't know. There's somebody in the there's Far West. Vixen. I don't know. Yeah, like yeah. In Texas. Or like that. In Texas. And it looks like Aiden's shaping up to be that for New York. I'm really excited to see it. Uh, I don't know about that yet, but hopefully he can uh, prove himself as a good CSS player. What's Aiden's record against Face? Uh, I'm not too sure. I know he's taking sets off of them, and they're usually pretty close. Mm. They, they go back and forth a lot after their games. They have like you know, three game sets in Destiny 3. You know, they've had game five sets before. Yeah, and I can't imagine this matchup being too good for Zelda, to be honest. Yeah, uh, I don't the, know. We'll, we'll, once again, Aiden really switched to the character officially, like, very recently. So, hmm. we don't know how adjusted he is with Zelda's ESS, because I don't think he gets any Zelda practice besides coming here and playing face. Right. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, we are talking about the match going on right now. Uh, Aiden is at uh, advantage. He's got stage control, he's got uh, percent control, he's got this grab to the back air, and that's actually going to kill off the top. Uh, that was a soft back air and killed at 170. I mean, it's uh, Zelda's pretty prone floaty, but the face comes down and just says, I'm going to tie it up real quick with one of these lightning kicks. It's even, but Aiden has invincibility advantage, and that's actually very important, especially in floaty matchups. You want that early, early advantage, even if it's very small. But he's pushing against the corner right now. Able to escape in the center stage, catches this. Nice string. Oof. Trades at the end, but he got him off stage. And Aiden's really just sort of, uh, sort of keeping center stage. He's forcing Zelda to play coming in instead of coming uh, pushing out like she usually does. And that's what's really giving him the advantage here. Ooh, uh, that was a great dash dance back air from um, face. I don't know what he was going there with that up B. I mean, I guess he wanted to spike, maybe get a tech. Uh, it might have been tech uh, yeah, a tech error, maybe. So I, I really like how Face uses its fire. Yeah, one cuts guy. off one option and Definitely. then covers everything else. Oh, and wow, yeah, kills nice. off the side. So up one stock for Aiden. This situation is really bad for Face because Zelda's comeback potential isn't as good as you would expect with her, how, how many kills how many moves she has. She kind of has to force the advantage a lot. And oh wow. my god. Nice string of up airs. Really and doing well here. Those up airs didn't actually combo. He just read exactly where it, her um, face would go off of those. And he got a clean 41% off that. And Aiden's you know, new to the character, but you can tell that he puts a lot of work into her. Yeah, he definitely. I know for a while he definitely wanted to switch, but you know he really didn't want to give up on Ganon because he, he, he's a Ganon fanboy. Yeah. But this is definitely a good switch for him. He feels he looks comfortable already with the character, which is always good. Right. And these punches look optimized as hell. Are we esports? Can I curse? Uh, is hell a curse? I think. Hell's Are we not. alone in this world? <laughs> Back here. God, uh, he's, he's putting so much pressure on face that he has to come in with something risky, and then just at the right moment, duck, uh, dips out, dips back in. You know, I think actually something about face. I mean, I could be wrong here, but I feel like when he gets put put into a corner a lot, he gets a little like tilted with his play. Wow, nice setup right there. But yeah, face. I can see he get tilted get tilted a little bit when he gets pushed into a corner. I mean, I don't want him to get affected by that because he definitely could still win this match. But uh, I hope he I hope he doesn't get a uh, bad mindset off of getting like pressured a lot. Yeah, I would say that's game one phase. But I've been, been talking to a Mr. One plus one equals three, uh, Jason Stickle, who has had, had a pretty good record against uh, Face recently. Uh, I think they're maybe one one two one. I'm not sure who it, uh, it favors. And his opinion of Face as a player is actually the opposite of yours. Really? Uh, he says that Face is autopilot in a nutshell. Uh, for the first game or so, unless he's taking you very seriously, uh, he sort of plays completely off of instinct. And then once you push him into the corner, he'll start to turn think. it up. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, the way that this matchup plays out, ZSS is pushing Zelda into uh, positions where no matter if you're on tilt or not, she has very few options. Yeah. It can be frustrating sometimes, definitely. Yeah. And, I mean, Aiden's just closing this out right now. It's 
Nice lightning kick, though. Falling through the platform. I think at this point you gotta start thinking about where you're gonna take ZSS to game two. I mean, he still has the ability to give them. I mean, it's a it's a long shot, but he still has that that chance. Right, but where's he gonna get the hit? And that's, there you go. Yeah, that's the kill off. Game the side. one going to Aiden. So that's oh, right. oh runs it recently. To okay. Yeah, I think he's probably been thinking about that since stock two. Oh, oh wait, that might not be that might have been a mistake. Maybe he, he clicked start by accident. No, oh, Pokemon oh okay. I see you went. He went to the wrong stage. Maybe Aiden banned it and he just didn't notice. Or not. Um, what the heck is going on, guys? I'm not too sure, actually. Where do you think that face would go... Oh, he hasn't even given him the chance to ban. Oh, okay. Dirt. Jeez. Alright, you can see face smiling. He knows. He knows. He's really desperate to get back into it. Definitely. You know, when you lose the first game, you know... Uh... It's not that you want to rush too much into it, but like if you knew what you did wrong and you knew what adjustments you need to make, if you want to jump back into it, I'm sure you get you get a little anxious for it. Yeah. All right. So bans. And they end up and going to Dreamland. They end up going to Dreamland anyways. Uh, this is a great counter pick for Zelda. It's probably the quintessential one. Uh, the big, big stage with the big, high platforms just mean it's very hard to get in on it, and that's going to uh, translate into less of an early game advantage for ZSS. Uh, uh, as I know I'm not supposed to talk to the chat, but this is, uh, late, late, late losers. Losers. Yeah. And it's, uh, game, game two. Oh, wait, is this losers, actually? I'm no, not, I'm not no, sure. No, 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 I'm, actually, not I'm sorry. This is winner's finals. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, this is winner's finals. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. pretty sure this is winner's Sorry about that. Anyways, getting back into it. Face, again, losing in the early game, uh, despite what we just said. Uh, he's off stage. He's at high percent. Whoa! Reverse down B, jump back air, discovered the exact right option there. Knew exactly where it was going to be. That was really nice. And he's even starring with a really good extra credit. Wow, this is looking very, very bad for face. Yeah. He's definitely got to get, if he can get the set guard. Oh, oh no, oh, no, no. Unfortunate. Oh, I boy. guess, uh, I feel like what face is thinking right now is, uh, I guess we take those, you know? Yeah. But, um... Still has invincibility control, percent lead, everything that you need to start off uh, a game against Zelda. If you give her the early lead, then she's gonna sit. She's up. a lot of trouble. Yeah, she's a lot of trouble. She's she's a can, lot she can camp, trouble. and then she can use the neighbor's love and the fire to really just she can keep you away. Yeah, really well. Mm -hmm. uh, just like like what you just saw there, uh, face literally stood right on top of the fireball. If if, if uh, Zero Suit tried to approach it directly, she get hit. Can he get the edge guard? Oh my god, that was a back air. Yeah. Uh, he did a oh, tournament wow. winner that was and a really nice arrow. upbeat right there. Yeah. Uh, Got him right off before he could hit him with a back air or forward air. Right. So Aiden is trying to reestablish the lead that he had, but now. Oh, his shields look low, actually. Yeah, shields looking low. Less the threat of a shield break, but more they nice. can't always shield those uh, back airs. And now, definitely. It's one stock up for face. He's bringing this back. And. Actually, that little ditty, that little movement that he did just there was sort of just to keep the fireball in a uh, moving in a way that it actually affects things. Yeah, I know the fireball. I don't think it messes with the camera that much anymore, but like uh, definitely, like when, when you pull, call it back to you, you can definitely do a lot with it. Like if you crouch in the middle of the stage, it goes around the surface for a while. Uh -huh. So while we were talking about nothing, Aiden uh, bring, uh, brings us back. Oh. Presents him now even. He has the platform tech chase, but uh, uh, tech right spot dodge gets him out of the situation. Raw, <laughs> there was a raw down smash. Yeah, Aiden's so looking a little nothing. bit desperate. You gotta keep his composure. Right. Definitely. And that's what floating matchups are. They're all about endurance. Yeah. Kinda Face has center stage and just sort of <laughs> jumps straight up, leans all the way to the left, and back airs some raw. That's great. Fun stuff. I think Aiden's like, uh, it seems a little lost in this second game now that Face has gotten the lead, but right. I think he really just needs to establish a uh, stage presence again. Mm -hmm. And I definitely think he did. Uh, hey, I mean, with 30% difference, it's not that hard. Exactly. It's not even really a small lead. It's all, but he's dropping it's all mental at this point. But he's dropping a lot of punishes on these quick, low recovery uppies. Yeah. Now, neutral. Yeah, they're really trying to. 
which is kind of like a footsies, really. Yeah, to they're, get that first they're both struggling really hard for center stage, but it's oh, all coming down nice. to who gets these incidental hits. Ooh, the fair to challenge the... I would have been so scared of uh, another lightning kick there, but the fair challenge is a, it works out for him. Ooh, nice air dodge on stage. That was really nice. Uh, that's a... I think it was trying to force that second jump the way that faced it, but wasn't able to capitalize on it. Gets ledge. And... Aiden, Ooh, that could he really punish. wants to hold the middle of the stage right here. Right. I, th I think that's the entirety of this matchup, is just keeping Sarah's stage and walling people out. Yeah. Both characters are really good at walling people out. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. He's just falling on all wow. these things. Fires, eh? Look at all the this could be... Oh. Raw. Raw. He wanted the hardest of reads right there. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest uh, of all reads. Face might want to turn to an option that's less committing and more guaranteed. Yeah. Because this might be off the uh, next small hit anybody's stock. Yeah. And that could have been the stock for him. Um, let's see what he this is going to be a down throw. Up, up there. And that will kill wow. off the top. Yep. 160, I mean, that's that's big. That's a high percent yeah. for Dreamland. You're going to go off the top. But you don't want Zelda to go to those high percents because then you have to work harder yes, to get it. exactly. You have to win neutral more times. So last stock here. Let's see if uh, FaZe can bring it to a game three. I'd be, I would be really interested Ooh, in that. Ooh, forces the fireball into him and gets that up to us, uh, but not much off of it. It's dead even, but Aiden has a positional advantage. What's the... Let's see. Oh, oh my god. FaZe just rolled into Sarah's stage and Aiden jumped over him. This nice. could be pivotal. This edge guard right here. Just a little bit more percent, and it will be Aiden's clear lead. But they're back. Really, there's so many like floating matchups, like it's so many, like you have to tiptoe into everything. Because if you commit too hard, then you get punished really bad. Yeah, and it's coming down to these incidental hits, these tight situations. This is Smash in in a nutshell, really is you know, saying up positional pressure. Exactly. I really like in this game more than the last game, but Face is using up B. Oh! Oh, we live in, we live in. Face is up B is so much better in this game to get to middle stage and even uh to like pressure Aiden by using it because that hitbox at the end, some people will uh, right. That's how you forget about it. Yeah. So, oh man, it's just so scary to approach Zelda. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's nice not there's not that much that you can get off, off that on uh, on uh, Zelda, especially in that position in middle stage yeah. going the wrong way. Right. That's why I think he, I, I think he took the best option there. Yeah. Back oh, he oh. reflected it. Fist needs to start catching ledge on these tethers. Like. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure he has ledge. his own ideas of how to oh, oh back air out of wow, shield that won't great kill. Great DI. I'm sure he has his own ideas on how to ledge guard tether characters, but at some point, just take it's that it's designed to give you the guaranteed punish. Exactly. Oh, Ooh. and Ooh. wow. And no amount of good DI is going to change 144 Zelda back air. Uh, Destes, we actually now today have. I think five or six different PM subs uh, for today's bracket. I think it was. I think it was six. I think six. six? Yeah. Uh, so that's definitely handled. We used to have a problem with uh, space, really. Space definitely. and not enough people bringing things. Yeah. Uh, but now we have our own, so that's good. Yep. Now, where do you think Aiden's going to take him? Because now he has counter pick advantage. I don't know. I feel like. It, I feel like he wants to go. He doesn't want to go small. Maybe. Wow. Okay. Smashville. Uh, I know Aiden likes the stage. It it's the be he counterpicks this a lot. Uh, if this were Brawl CSS, I know there's very little um, that I can say about Brawl CSS in relation to PM. Uh, this would be a really good stage for CSS. Uh, lots of positional pressure and lots of that, really, back here. And the platform's wow. actually very... One stock lead, only 6% on him. Nice lead. Yeah, his movement on this stage is really great. It's it's FD for five seconds and then it moves. <laughs> Pretty um, much. And I, I do believe that Face must have banned FD uh, because that, uh, that would have been pretty horrible. So Face is com coming back. Still, like, almost up to full stock though. Aiden's got a, a really good lead. And, okay, oh, I thought he was going to get that spike box there. Yeah, he's but definitely fishing for it. That wouldn't have been anything major, but yeah. they could have set yeah. up an edge guard. At this point, it's extra percent. Yeah. Extra credit. You always want more extra credit. But this could be... Yep, there nice. it is. Yeah, there it is. starting to grab the ledge. Catching the ledge, reacting to the way that he floats off from the pickup. That made no sense. Forward smash. Nice forward smash. Yeah, nice. He had good DI, but... But 90% invincibility, this is a bad situation for face. He needs to find some way to... Oh, the fireball hits him. He wasn't 
paying attention to it. Oh, I think the base is trying to fish for a grab, really. I, know, I, really, I know he really likes the locals and grabs. Oh, that right, and he, right there. he's probably scared for his life right now. This is, I believe, winner's finals is what you said? Yeah. I'm, so this I'm is going to be sure. 3 out of 5. But you never want to be two games down in uh, winner's finals or any 3 out of 5 set. That's painful. Ooh, this could be big. Oh, but yeah. he goes too high. Face, yeah. Uh, since the there are no platforms to extend combos for yeah. face on this stage, I and mean, for uh, Aiden, face is just DIing straight up, and eventually you're gonna be out of his of her range. Yeah. With the fireball, back throw. Shout out will to Steel not Gutty. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> uh, play off Steel Gutty, man. Just relax. I love him. He's good. Good guy. Shout out to Gutty. Yeah, that was a good. So getting back into neutral, Aiden still with a very clear lead, 82% of extra credit on his third stock. And any one of these incidental hits could lead to a kill for Zeus here on the stage. Uh, T-Grass is going to leave, I'm going to stay on. We are continuing to watch Aiden versus Face, if you're just catching up with us. Uh, joining me is Mr. Watch and Learn on Game 3 of, of this Winner's Finals set. How are you, Mr. Watch and Learn? I'm good, how are you? Doing good. Doing fine. Doing great. So where where are we right now? It's one. Uh, we're game three, winners finals. Aiden is one stock up with 128% of extra credit. Ooh, very nice. He's playing really solid today, I was watching. Yeah. Uh I think he's officially gone to zero two instead of Ganon and yeah, it's no. working out for him in dividends. Yeah, like some people say his Ganondorf is a little better than his ESS, but like in the long run, ZSS just has a lot more better has, a, has a higher skill root than like Ganondorf. So Yeah, there's more you can do with the character. She has better matchups, she has more undiscovered tech, and really I think it's just a better, better choice for him as a player. Yeah, know? especially now in the since with the C's of updates, I believe the ZSS meta, uh, meta is only gonna get so much better. Mm -hmm. like, people especially with people like Jason Waterfalls, like, who are just so smart in players. I mean, people used to think that uh, ZSS is bad because she doesn't get anything off grabs. And now we're seeing like 50, 60% guaranteed no DI punishes off grabs. Mm -hmm. uh, but back to the match, Face is in a dire, dire situation. If he can't make something big happen this stock, then it's going to be 2 1 in Winner's in, uh, winter Styles with the threat of getting knocked out losers. Yeah. Um. I think he just wants to play defensive and play that like in and out kind of play style he uses sometimes. Uh, he's spacing out with um, Bears, which is smart of him. Um, Forcing him in between the fireball and the lightning kick is a really great option for oh, shutting yeah. down, you know, zero suits mm -hmm. neutral game. Yeah, because Din's fire, like a lot of people. So I, I've, I've spoken to about uh, well, about it with people before, and they, some people just hate Din's fire because like sometimes they even forget them to put out there. Yeah. So like out of nowhere, when they're trying to get a combo going, just fireball just comes back and interrupts midway. Right. It's a really good like disruptor. Mm -hmm. Uh. Right, so the uh, so Aim ha back zero off stage, having face in a really uncomfortable position right now. And, and that's actually good. gonna be the stop. Yeah. The game is. So it's two one for Aiden. All right. Yeah. Update the sto uh, score. Where do you think that face is gonna wall go for his counter pick on his last limbs in winner's bracket? Um. I feel like, oh, okay, well, uh, Dreamland is uh, banned out. I feel like he sometimes goes to Dreamland as like a comfort pick. He's pin. already gone to Dreamland. Oh, he's already one. gone? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he actually goes to FD. I'm really surprised at this because the big thing about uh, Smashville that was bad, man, he just shut me up. <laughs> the big thing that, about Smashville that was bad for him was that it's a long it, stage. So. It's a long stage with no platforms for him to escape to, him to from these punishes. But yeah, uh, it's also giving him the ability to run away for a long time. It's, mm -hmm. it's a big, big stage. Yeah, especially with that um, teleport canceling, he's allowed to kind of jump around the stage to his own uh, whim if he's given the space to do so like that. Yeah, uh, passing right through the projectile there. That was impressive. Mm -hmm. And this might be the edge guard to death. Oh, bear? I feel like a bear might want to. Yeah, that, I was about to say that too, but there we go. Love you too, Quan. <laughs> <laughs> we all love Quan. All right, so back to the match. Back to people who actually live in the state. Um, all right, so. Face now with a tiny bit of a lead, he's get quickly getting knocked out of the throw. Um, I just put him off the trigger front. Yeah. Right, uh, that up air won't take it, but I feel like if H just kind of plays, keeps a solid play up and not take any percent, he could be, be able to reset it back to an even game. Yeah, because he hasn't taken any percent yet at all. And another use of that Din's fire, just completely walling out Aiden from preventing right. him from punishing that full charge um, paralyze it. 
But he still gets the 0% kill. Right? Yeah, and now that uh, Face's invincibility is passed, this is an even game. 51% uh, on Face, and that one punish is going to be big. That up tilt is so good. Uh, me and Tigress were talking about this. This matchup sort of comes down to very incidental hits. Uh, small punishes that lead to big, uh, big positional like advances. advances. Yeah. yeah. And even off of little punishes like that, down throw to the second hit of forward air, uh, Zelda's forced off stage into a position where she has to commit to get back. Oh, he Ooh. catches it with the tip of the upbeat, but he's able to act out in time. Yeah, uh, that's the one thing. Oh, catches him with the paralyzer, but he's able to match up quick enough. Right. Uh, Ace is on point with these defensive uh, attacks. You know, teching everything, meteor canceling, uh, mashing out of the paralyzer. Uh, he's definitely experienced with this matchup. I don't want to say with who, because I have no idea. Fucking Dia? Yeah, like I understand, like who did he play ZSS? Or an Aiden? Uh, maybe, maybe they, maybe they maybe play like, this up a lot. I don't know. Maybe he's low key, like maybe he set up a fake netplay account and he just plays the ZSS all day in netplay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, here we go. That punish could have been a lot bigger if. Uh, actually, no. I'm talking on my ass there. Uh, never mind. Okay, so. Um, Ange is, uh, eight, not Ange. Ange is kind of dancing in and out right now. He's kind of running in and out, getting these quick little punches off the grab. But I feel like uh, Face wants to he's counting. He wants to watch out for these grabs a little more because it seems like every time Aiden gets these grabs, he gets like a 56 co combo string off it, which really puts him in a good position right now. Yeah, and he absolutely can't afford that now. One stock down with 75% extra credit on him. Uh, when you have the lead against Zelda, she can't really force you into anything. But this punish might lead to a stock for Aiden, but he rolls up really quickly. Ooh. Oh, nice spacing through the up smash, but it I won't I can't kill. believe he got hit by that fireball. Yeah. So he's going to force the fireball out for a long time. Yeah, Where'd that, it go? There's that girl. Like, see, he's just getting grabbed so easily. Yeah. Uh, I think he committed uh, to that thinking that the fireball would be there to save him, but it just sort of ollied out. -y. Back to neutral. I'll change the score. It's 2-1 here, right? Uh, 2 one eight, yes. So even if Face wins this game by some, you know, crazy comeback, he's gonna have to come in on Aiden's counterpick. We did. Yeah, we just did. Alright. Uh, Coming back to the neutral Face, on his last limbs for winner's bracket. I feel like Face could pull this out, but it looks like right now... He does actually have him off stage. Oh, Ooh, he catches with the forward smash. Hard read forward smash. He's been trying to end for that a lot, but... And the forward air, this might be it. That's the yeah. that's the stock for Aiden. I feel like Face is so good as kind of just spacing those forward smash off the Right. And now we have seen. Uh, I think Face is finally really in this. Yeah. Uh, he might have been a little bit on all pilot before, but now he's really playing very tactical, playing very positional, and playing to win. Mm -hmm. But Aiden is not letting up this pressure. He's going. He's short hopping, forward air, and airing. Yeah, that's, which are very that's safe. so hard for Zelda to get through because I think the only thing that you would be able to beat that with with Zelda in neutral would be dash attack, right? Yeah. Uh, that's a huge commitment, and he doesn't want to do that. Ooh, the, the Inspire interrupts. Ooh, this could be landing. big! Barry has him off stage. He has the Inspire. Oh, oh my god, no. and that's going to be 2-2. Oh, no. That hard read on his full jump, that was it. I think once he got hit by that, he just lost all of his momentum. All right, so we're going to see... What's Aiden's counter pick here? He's already won on Smashville. He's already won on, uh, I think it was Battlefield was the neutral. So where does he go? I feel like in this matchup, the stages that they both like are double-edged swords because they both have options. Like, I feel like ZSS and Zelda both like stages with small sides since the, uh, ZSS is fair and bare, so very strong in Obviously, as well as Zelda, as, yeah. as well as Nel so uh, Zelda. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Yeah, so we go to WarioWare. This is going to be high pace. Lots of platform term combos, mm -hmm. lots of really early kills off the side. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Aiden like the stage too, so because I know Face loves using his up air a lot, and mm -hmm. obviously we're having Wario having a higher uh, ceiling will help him live a little qu uh, a little more from that. Yeah, uh, higher ceiling than Yoshi Story and Green Hill Zone, mm -hmm. uh, while keeping relatively same uh, uh, horizontal sides. Yeah, Face absolutely likes this stage too. Uh, because of that, mm -hmm. um, that was 106 with the perfect DI, the most, most good DI that you could possibly have, they still died to that back air. And because the fireball just covers so much of the screen. 
there's, ve yeah. there's very little that Zero Suit can do to get around it. Like with a, no top platform. Yeah, one of the bigger charged um, things obviously will like cover up like a whole platform on this stage. Yeah. Oh, I that could have been a big punish. Mm -hmm. A little bit of ledge camping. Let's go, Hungry Box. Oh, he, oh, he it caught it. Down to it. I don't but think no he, punish. he didn't realize it in time. I think he saw the blast as him. Yeah, he probably thought that he um, snapped the ledge. Yeah. But um, probably just a little bit too low for that. Aiden just kind of throwing out another down smash. I think he's starting. To, oh, he catches him. Bear. Oh, it's smashed. Bear, bear. That's not forward smash. Yeah. Nah, it's just a little joke. It's like yeah. whenever Aiden with down smash, he always just short hop backers, even though forward smash even is, the, is, is the better option. Be better, yeah. yeah. Oh, he reads the one with the forward smash. That's gonna take Yeah, he's been doing that the entire set, and it hasn't been working until last game. I wonder what changed for Aiden to start going forward on the platform, on the ledge. Uh, I think he's starting to panic a little bit through the game five dudes and all that stuff. Yeah, he definitely expected this to be his set last mm -hmm. game. But yeah. we can't count Aiden out of this. No, yeah, Aiden is definitely a great player. As a Ganondorf player, he's used to coming from behind. Mm -hmm. Uh. This is a really tense situation here. Sort of just trading hits, trading rolls, but faces off stage. Uh, Ooh, this could he even always catch the down smash. If he charged it like a second more, he would have got caught him yeah. with it. Uh, according to a Mr. Steel Gutty, uh, forward smash and down smash for a zero suit don't actually change when you charge them. Is that true? I have to do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, again! Yeah, I feel like Ainge is in panic mode this, at this current time. He's just being really predictable. Oh, that was a really nice tech, but still. I mean, you can survive as long as you want, but you're still going to get hit. Uh, catches him with the back air, resetting stocks to 2-2 two -two piece. He's at 108%. I feel like Aang just kind of needs to like, take a sec, breathe, uh, collect Play. himself, and like go back to playing like the smart, the defensive way he does. Yeah, the smart, neutral, one hit at a time, hit and run. Uh, he that's catches, what we really need He catches the grab, so... Uh, I feel like this um, stage like this, it doesn't allow ZSFs to combo as much as you could, but right now, Aiden making me eat my words right now with a nice little 70% combo Yeah, right there. I think the platforms actually extend Zero Suit's combos more than they do um, increase it, because on FD, you would see him get like two Benho up airs, and then that would be it, because he had to go back down, he didn't have to. Um, it, it's just face. Sorry, uh, we need to change his name. But uh, he would have to come back down, and he wouldn't get a chance to hit him again. Now he can land, do an R2 up airs, land, do an R2 up airs, and combo him off the top. And this could be, this could be Aiden taking the lead again. I think that he's finally shaken off these jitters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's, Aiden I know he says like he gets nervous mid-set sometimes, but he's able, with the kind of person he's very quickly able to recollect himself and kind of set himself like in his mind back to neutral. He's a very cerebral player. Yes. Uh, it's 2-2. This is winner's finals. And he catches him with the back and kills him off the top, surprisingly. Yeah, that's going to be the lead. Uh, but it's not going to be too much for FaZe to Just this. juggling him with these <laughs> Din's fires. Oh my god. Ooh. He was doing that on Dreamland again. And this is going to be the last stock of our winner's finals. Let's see who can take it. Ooh, again, like last stock, game five, winner's finals. Like, winner of this goes in the grands. Like, but right now, Ain's still playing very solid, getting that running in, hitting right, a couple forcing times. these rolls out. Uh, phase two. I'm wondering if those are intentional or I'll something. Yeah. Ooh. I'll throw a forward air. He's using. He's starting to use these din fires. Not so much for like spacing more, so for extending the combos now. It's dead even. One percent difference. Up to escape. Oh, but he, he catches, catches it. it. One hit. One hit fair. Oh, oh that could be it. Oh, yeah, and that's there it. goes Aiden with the game take. Right, Aiden knocks face in a loser's bracket from winner's finals. A nice Three, little two. comeback. A nice little comeback by Aiden there. That was beautiful. I think that was textbook how that matchup is played. Mm -hmm. And Aiden just showed that he was a little bit better than it. We got young Sonic King on stream now. He's about to demonstrate the most yeah, high I level of tech. Uh. I'm wondering who's going to be next on stream. Oh, me and Ed. You He's going to get someone to come replace me. Okay. Yeah. So, at least that's what he said, so. Right. Mm. Alright, I'll just wait for... So there's Ed. Alright. Yeah. All right. I'll check you guys later. Okay, so next up on stream, we're going to have Mr. Watch and Learn versus HSS Ant. He's not HSS No. Not HSSN. Right. Uh, that was 
I'll let you know though. I will stop recording.